Now let's move to the topic of non-singular code. So here's the definition, non-singular code. A code, which is a map, is said to be non-singular if every element of X maps into a different string in this star, such that if Xi not equal to Xj, code word for XY, Xi, and code word for Xj are not equal to each other. So if this happens, this occur, then the code is called non-singular. So please note that this statement does not allow effectively many to one mapping, right? Uh, mapping by uh, its definition can have many to one mappings, uh, but uh, having said this condition, basically a code, which is a function, uh, it, uh, this allow uh, many to one mapping. So effectively this becomes one to one. So if a map is one to one, we can go back, we can do inverse map and uh, inverse map uh, is uniquely defined. So for a uniquely defined inverse map, the Ford map has one to one and non-singularity does implies that one-to-one -one mapping, which is sufficient for uh, unambiguous decoding. So decoding here means that uh, mapping from C to X, okay? So inverse map, okay? So noted off, uh, decoding here means the inverse mapping, okay? That's what I said. And uh, this, this is the definition uh, basically, a code is a, a function or a map from set A to B. Uh, this is a forward map. And then we can also talk about inverse map going from B to A. Uh, for an inverse map to be unique, uh, the forward map does not, uh, uh, must not have many to one mapping. So it has to be one to one mapping. If we, it was one-to-one -one mapping, the, uh, the, the decoding, which is going uh, 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 inverse direction, which is backward direction from B to A is um, um, unique, okay? So uh, that's uh, non-singular code. So uh, inverse map is unique. Uh, inverse map can be written as C inverse. So inverse map is unique. Then we call such a code non-singular code. I will have some examples later on. So, so far we have talked about a code. A code is a map. A map by the definition can include many to one mapping. But when we have a non-singular code, which is a map that does not have uh, many-to-one -one mapping, it only has one-to-one -one mapping, then we can uh, uniquely uh, decode. Uh, decoding here is defined to be the inverse map. The inverse map is unique because it was one-to-one -one in the forward case. So, uh, that's what we have studied. And now let us move to uniquely decodable code. So extension of, of a code. So basically uniquely decodable code is defined for a code uh, when it is extended this way. So ba basically uh, uh, it should be uh, uniquely decodable. So, um, a code word, back to back, back to back concatenation, uh, and constructed a uh, longer string like this. A code word for x1, code word for x2, and so on. Uh, we call this a C star extension of a code. So basically, an extension C star of a code C. Uh, you can see this individual code word concatenate to the back-to-back, -back, 
is a mapping from a finite string of x to finite length string of d defined this way. So it is uh, made of concatenation of code words of the code C. And we call uh, this code C uniquely decodable uh, uh, if it is uniquely decodable. Okay. So what do we mean by uniquely decodable? So note that an extension C star of a code word, uh, of, of code C is a code. So it is a mapping from this x1, x2, xn to uh, theory digits uh, in, in, uh, in a concatenated code words, right? So it is a map, so it is a code. But each one of them is a, a non singular code. Then we can also uh, talk about uh, if the string as a whole is a non singular as well. So the extended one is non singular, if it is, then we call uh, the code C to be uniquely decodable code. So why do we want to use an extension code? Why do we want to consider extension code? It is because of efficiency. You know, the whole concept of data compression is to get rid of uh, some unnecessary uh, you know, parts. Uh, we want to save the resource as much as possible. In this case, the resource is the, uh, the, the uh, unnecessary word in the alphabet. So uh, uniquely decodable code, uh, we can get rid of the space symbol. Uh, here is an example. Let's take a look at this. If code word for x1 is 00, zero for x2, 11, one, one, then the concatenate concatenation of code word defined this way is 0011. One, one. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, uniquely decodable. So 00, zero is right here, 11 one, one is right here. Uh, without uh, dividing this with uh, commas or uh, separation slash, uh, we can uniquely decode this code, code word. Right to be uh, x uh, to mean x one and x two, okay. So let's uh, consider this example now. Uh, this code has four elements as code words. So c of x one is one one, x two is one zero, x three is one one zero, x four is uh, zero one. Can you decode the following string? Let's say one one zero one one zero. 1.4. So as you examine this, this can be decoded as either means 11 and 01, which is four, and 10, which is right here. So it can be decoded this way, or it could be repetition of X3. So 110, 110. So both of these decoding is possible. So the decoding is, in this case, is x3, x3. In this case, is x1, 11, 0, 1, which is x4, and 10, uh, which is x2. So e, this string right here, given in 1.4, must uh, have a, a separation of code words indicated. So that means we have to use space symbol or comma, uh, some uh, symbol additional to this uh, binary uh, uh, alphabet in order to uh, extend it. Um, so this code right here is not uniquely decodable. This code right here is uniquely decodable because it can be decoded without uh, the commas, without the use of commas. So 
uniquely decodable code is defined to be this sentence right here. A code C is said to be uniquely decodable if it's Kate the extension, which is concatenation of code words, is one-to-one -one mapping from X to the Kate the power and uh, uh, D star for all K. So that's a uniquely decodable. Shortly, uniquely uh, decodable code is a code which is non-singular even if it is extended. So that is the uniquely decodable code. Uniquely decodable code uh, deals with the extended uh, extension of a code C. And uh, a code C is called uniquely decodable. Uh, even if it is extended, uh, it is still non-singular. 